Hey there, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to go over Joomla 1.6 Alpha 2. Um, it's actually going to be my second time installing Joomla 1.6. Uh, the first time was the Alpha 1. I went ahead and installed that, and I was very unsuccessful. So we're going to go ahead and try this one more time. Uh, if you go to Joomla.org, now 1.6 has been very highly anticipated uh, by everybody in the Joomla community and everybody's been waiting for this to come out for probably over a year that they were supposed to release about a year ago and they never did. So <clears throat> we're kind of waiting on it. Um, one of the big things in 1.6 is permissions. So if you look at Joomla 1.6 Alpha 2 right here, click that and then uh, you can click the full zip package here and download that. I already have it here in a folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, un unzip it and it'll turn into a folder. So put that right there. And uh, so permissions in Joomla 1.6 are going to be uh, slightly better, I think. And, you know, they said they were going to fix uh, search engine friendly URLs and stuff like that. I I don't know the full extent to what what is updated in 1.6 but let's go ahead and install it alright so go to your HT docs folder I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in this folder here ah, that's not what I wanted Let's see if that worked all right, now that you have it here, go ahead and rename it to Joomla 1.6. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and open that up. Make sure the installation folder is there. There it is. And we am going to close that folder there. Now I have MAMP running, and I'm going to go to localhost 888 slash MAMP. I'm going to go to PHP my admin. I'm going to create a database called Joomla 1.6. I'm going to do UTF-8 underscore Unicode underscore CI. Leave the MySQL connection collation. Hit create. All right, so now I have my database. Now I'm going to go to just localhost 888. Click on Joomla 1.6. And we're going to go through the installation. So the installation already looks a little bit different. They only have two languages as opposed to 1.5, which had a ton of languages. So they're probably going to update that. Um, click Next. And this looks kind of familiar. Everything says yes. Agreement. Next. <clears throat> so, so far, everything is the same. Database name, Joomla 1.6, and next. No, next. Site name, test website. Email address at admin.com. Password. I'm going to install sample data, and I'm going to click next. Go into Joomla 1.6 <clears throat> and delete the installation folder. So just right click, move to trash, and go ahead and close that one more time. Click on site, and there we have uh, Joomla 1.6 site, which doesn't have very much content in there to begin with. I think they're still working on that. But let's go ahead and go into the administration panel. And right away we see that it looks a little bit different than 1.5. Let me go ahead and open up uh, a 1.5 website so we can kind of just compare. So this is what the 1.5 panel look like, 1.5.15. And this is the 1.6 panel. 
looks a little bit different, new icons, uh, things like that. But the most important thing that has changed is probably the users. Now we have groups, access levels. So we can add new access levels and we can mail mass users. I think we had that feature in 1.5. And let's see, what else do we have? Um, site maintenance, that was already there. So pretty much everything else looks similar. Extensions, extension manager, yeah, that's all the same. So the only thing that really looks like it changed was access levels, you know, the look. So not very many things changed. Um, so let's go ahead and look at what kind of access you have for groups and stuff. So these are the groups we have. We can add a new group if we wanted to. In my line of work, we have uh, we build websites for school districts. So I have teachers, administrators, you know, students, and stuff like that, all editing the website. And this this layout just does not work for me. So I'm going to have to change that and make it more suitable for that purpose. So I would you know add maybe a new one that had special privileges. So if we look at super users, um, I think we can give them more permissions or not. Maybe that's not the, that at this panel, but um, if we come over here and change access levels, I think we can do that uh, special. So yeah, you can make registered users a special uh, access level or whatever. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a brief look of what 1.6 looks like. Like I said, this is the second time I've installed it and I'm doing it live here. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Global configuration all looks the same. You know, nothing really has changed other than permissions. Permissions are everywhere now, so you can have global settings for users and, you know, give them access to that. The other thing I noticed last time was an article manager. So in Article Manager, you can come into an article and also access uh, the privileges. So you can have, you know, a manager be able to edit this or delete, be able to delete it and and not edit it or vice versa. So there's all these options, and I'm gonna have, probably have to get to know these pretty well. But I really like that that feature, and that's one thing that Joomla has been missing for you know, since it began, um, those access permissions. I know Drupal has has some awesome uh, access controls. But uh, yeah, that's Joomla 1.6. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment bar below. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching these videos and commenting. Thanks. See you later.